Hello everybody, welcome to your Pilates workout. My name is Alice. For today's class, we'll be using one of these gym sticks or Pilates bars. With the exercises, you can add resistance by twisting the bar towards you, wrapping the elastic straps around the ends of the bar. And you can take resistance off by twisting the bar in the other direction, releasing the two elastic straps. So starting with your feet hip distance apart in parallel, knees are softly bent, nice straight back and relax the shoulders down. We'll start by breathing in through the nose, expanding the rib cage sideways and breathe out gently through the mouth. Breathing in again through the nose and out gently through the mouth. So on your next breath out, Pull the belly button through to the spine, zip up the pelvic floor, and as you breathe in, just release slightly. So just carrying on with this breathing, you can imagine a belt around your waist, and every time you breathe out, think about tightening that belt to the tightest notch, and then as you breathe in, just releasing that belt by a couple of notches. We're going to start our warm up with an upwards row. The next time you exhale, bend the knees and lift the bar up to chest height and inhale to lower the bar back down. Try to keep your back straight and the shoulders pulling down as you lift the bar up, bending the knees and then straightening through the legs as you lower the bar back down. Exhale, bend and lift. Inhale, straighten and lower. Try to keep the movement connected with your breath. Just go at your own speed and rhythm. Keeping the elbows wide and the shoulders down. We'll just go one more time. And then from there, bend the knees, make sure they're in parallel. Keeping the arms straight, exhale and raise the bar up. Inhale, lower the bar back down. So try to keep your arms straight here. You don't have to take the bar all the way up. You can always just lift it to chest height and lower. And just make sure if you are taking the bar all the way up that the bar isn't going behind your head. So just keep it always just slightly in front. Keeping the shoulders down, exhale to lift. Inhale to lower. Knees stay softly bent parallel and hip distance apart. Next we're going into our bicep curls. So just twist the bar towards you, wrapping the elastic straps around two or three times. You can change this afterwards. Flip your hands over and then stick your elbows into the sides of the ribs, knees bent. And as you exhale, draw the hands up towards your shoulders and inhale lower. So try to keep your elbows really stuck into the sides of the body and keeping the shoulders pulling down and the back nice and straight. Again, don't need to bring the hands all the way up, just work at your own pace. If you'd like to add resistance and make this exercise more challenging, you can always twist the bar towards you again, adding on another loop and another bit of resistance. And if it feels too difficult, you can always take some resistance off. Making sure you're keeping the core engaged here, working into the biceps. Just going one more time here and then bringing the bar back down and taking off all of the resistance. From here we'll just flip the hands over holding the bar about shoulder distance apart and then lift the bar up to chest height, bend the knees, breathe in and as you breathe out twist from the waist to one side and inhale back to centre. Exhale twisting to the other side Inhale back to center. So alternating sides here, try to keep your feet, your hips and your knees completely still facing forward. So this movement is just coming from the waist. Keep the 
keeping the hands at about shoulder height. Just going one more time here. And then from there, come to stand at the end of your mat, feet and knees in parallel, hip distance apart. Breathe in to prepare. And as you breathe out, bend the knees, send the hips back and lift the bar up. Inhale back to standing. So only lift the bar as high as you feel comfortable doing and make sure that you're trying to find a nice diagonal line from the base of the skull to the tailbone. Squeezing the glutes, engaging the core and making sure that the knees and feet stay in parallel, hip distance apart. Inhale to stand back up and exhale. Think of pulling the shoulders down as you lift the bar up. Only going as low as you feel comfortable doing. And just making sure again that you're moving with the breath. I'll just go one more time here. And once you've finished your last one, bring the bar back down, roll the shoulders back, breathe in, and then drop the chin to the chest. Keep the knees bent and we'll roll down through the spine one vertebra at a time. Head and arms are heavy. Once the bar finds the floor, bend your knees even more and then lift the tailbone, pull the belly button up towards the ceiling and start to roll back up to standing, stacking the spine one vertebrae on top of the next. Breathe in, roll the shoulders back and going again. So really try to relax your head and your arms here, articulating through the spine. Bend the knees more generously when you get to the bottom and then keep the knees bent as you roll back up to standing. Just go at your own speed here and keep breathing twice more. So on this next one, as you roll down, we're going to stay down and come into an all fours position. So just gently walk yourself out onto hands and knees. Hands are underneath the shoulders, knees are underneath the hips and the back is nice and flat. Breathe in and as you breathe out, extend the left leg backwards to about back height and inhale, draw the knee back in. So as you extend the leg away, be careful not to arch the lower back. Keep pulling the lower belly in and up towards the spine. So as you bring the knee back in, just floating above the mat and exhale, extend away. Keeping equal weight distribution between your hands. We'll just go one more time on that leg and then gently bring the knee back down to the mat, hip distance apart and setting yourself up to go on the other leg. So exhale, extend, inhale, draw the knee back in, just floating it above the mat. So try and imagine that you've got a glass of water on your lower back here, trying to keep the rest of the body nice and still, shoulders pressing away from the ears. Exhale, extend. Inhale, bend the knee back in. From there, placing the knee back onto the mat, extend the left leg again, lift it up to back height, and then keeping the leg straight, just lower the toes down to the floor and lift back up. So just lower and lift. So again, don't feel that you have to take the leg very high here. The most important thing is to keep the lower back nice and straight and the stomach muscles pulling up towards the spine. Think more about the length of the leg rather than the height. 
shoulders down and just keep breathing. Changing onto the other leg now, extend the leg back, lift up, engaging the core and then lower with control and lifting up again. So only take the leg as high as you can whilst maintaining control of the lower back. Keeping equal weight distribution between both hands and being careful not to tip to one side. From here, we'll just take a back stretch. So round through the spine, pulling the belly button up towards the ceiling, look in between the feet and then stretching the back the other way, lift the tailbone, lift the eyes, arching through the back. Lying down onto your front now, making sure that the legs are stretched out behind you, hip distance apart, and then stretch the arms forward with the bar on the floor. Breathe in to prepare, and as you breathe out, lift the arms, the head, the chest, and the upper back, and lower. Imagine you've got an ice cube underneath your belly button, so you're keeping the lower back long and the abdominals engaged. If this is too difficult, you can keep the bar down on the floor, pressing down with your hands, and just lift the chest and the upper back. Keep the shoulders pulling down away from the ears. Abdominals engaged. Exhale to lift. And inhale to lower. Keeping the movement nice and smooth and your shoulders pulling down. So from here, we're going to transition to our side. So lie down on your side with your legs stacked one on top of the other, slightly in front of the body and extend the arms overhead. You can keep a slight bend in the elbows here. Make sure the shoulders are pulling down. And you can always make this a little bit easier by bending your underneath leg. Pull the belly button through to the spine and make sure that your hip bones are stacked one on top of the other. So we're going to start by lifting the top leg and lowering. Don't worry about the height of the leg, just try to keep the leg as straight as you can, making sure that the rest of the body is staying as still as possible. Don't forget, you can always bend your underneath leg to find a little bit more stability. Exhale to lift and inhale lower. Keeping the belly button pulling in towards the spine and up towards the ribs. The next time you lift the leg, keep it at that height and we're going to make some small circles with the leg. So try and as much as you can to control the movement in the rest of the body just isolating the movement to that one leg. Changing the direction now, taking your circles in the other direction. Keep breathing, shoulders pressing down, core nice and tight. Press into the floor with the underneath leg for a bit more stability. And then lower that leg down. Gently making your way onto your second side. Take a moment to make sure that your legs are stacked one on top of the other, the hips, ribs and shoulders are aligned and that your shoulders are pulling down. Remember, you can bend your underneath leg if you need a bit more stability. Starting again with the top leg, exhale to lift the top leg, keeping it as straight as you can and inhale lower. Making sure that the neck, the shoulders and the arms are in a comfortable position. Feel free to bend the elbows a little bit more if needs be. Keeping the belly button pulling up towards the ribs, in towards the spine, and making sure that you're breathing. From here, going into our leg circles, trying to keep the hips as still as possible. If you find that there's a lot of movement happening in your hips and lower back, you can always just make the circles smaller. Taking the circles in the other direction now. 
trying to imagine that you're tracing a real circle with your foot. From here, we're going to come to a seated position. Feet and knees are hip distance apart, knees are bent. And we're going to add some resistance onto the bar. So I twisted mine four times, adding four loops of the elastic strap. You might find you need to do more or less. And then holding on to the bar in the crook of your arm, keeping the hands together. With your heels pressing down into the floor, nice straight back. Keep a firm hold of the bar. Breathe in to prepare. And then as you breathe out, tuck your tailbone underneath slightly, curling the lower back. And then just roll back part way until you feel your abdominals engage and roll back up. So keeping the knees nice and still as you do this, shoulders down, exhale, tuck the tailbone underneath, curl back part way, and inhale, come back up. So trying to get to the point where you can feel the abdominals really start to engage and work. Keep on moving with your breath, only going back as far as you feel you can control the movement. So on your next one here, roll back part way, just as we did. And then from this position, lift your chest slightly, bringing your back to more of a straight diagonal position. And then exhale, twist and draw the bar down to one side. And inhale, come back to centre and twist to the other side. Trying to keep the lower belly pulling in, the legs nice and still. Alternating sides and moving with your breath. If this feels a bit too challenging, you can always make the exercise a little bit easier by sitting up a bit taller. And if you'd like to add more difficulty, you can sink back lower. Keeping the shoulders down, the chest slightly lifted. And moving with your breath. Moving into our roll downs now, sit up tall, take all of the resistance off of the bar and then extend your arms forward and extend the legs slightly as well. Take a big breath in and then as you breathe out, curl back, this time going all the way to the floor. Once your head touches the floor, extend the arms behind you, inhale. And as you exhale, send the arms forward, peeling the head and one vertebrae at a time off of the floor, coming back up to seated. So really try and go as slowly as you can here, resisting gravity as you lower down. Shoulders away from the ears, breathe in. And as you breathe out, allow the elastic to bring you back up to seated. If you find it uncomfortable to take the arms all the way behind the head, don't take them back quite so far. And really trying to articulate each vertebrae as you peel yourself off of the mat and then keeping the core engaged as you place one vertebrae at a time back onto the floor. As this is a fairly slow and long exercise, just breathe in a rhythm that feels most natural to you. So just going one more time here, inhale, send the arms back and then exhale, peeling yourself up to seated. 
from here we're going to transition to lying flat on our backs. So just as we did before, rolling down through the spine one vertebrae at a time and lying down onto your back. So here making sure your lower back is pressing into the floor, the feet and the knees are hip distance apart in parallel and we're going to add three or four loops of resistance onto the bar. So from here, turning the hands over, stick the elbows to the side of the ribs, breathe in, and then as you breathe out, draw the head and the upper back up and bend the elbows, bringing the hands towards the shoulders. So exhale, curl up, and inhale, lower back down. So this is a bicep curl with an abdominal crunch. Make sure you're keeping your lower back on the floor at all times. And with this exercise, it's actually easier if you have more resistance. So feel free to adjust the resistance on your bar accordingly. Imagine that you've got a piece of fruit underneath your chin, so keeping your neck in a comfortable position. Relax the jaw, keeping the elbows stuck into the side of the body and moving with the rhythm of your own breath. Keep pressing the abdominals and the lower back down towards the floor. So from here, unwinding the bar, removing all of the resistance and then extend your arms up at about chest height and lift one leg at a time up to a tabletop position, knees over the hips. You can either keep your hands opposite your chest or to make this harder, you can extend the arms back behind you, only if it's comfortable for your shoulders. So just adjust the height of the bar accordingly. Breathe in, and as you breathe out, extend one leg out straight, and inhale, bring it back to tabletop. Exhale, extending the other leg. Inhale, bring it back in. So just alternating legs here. Make sure that you're keeping your lower back pressing down into the floor. If that's not possible, bring the arms forward so that the bar is opposite your chest. Don't feel that you need to extend the leg all the way straight if that's too difficult. Just extending to where you can control. Trying to keep the rest of the body nice and still. Abdominals pulling down. You can also modify this exercise by placing one of your feet onto the floor with your knee bent and just extending one leg at a time. You should feel this in your abdominals, but if there's any pain in your lower back, just make sure that you are making modifications. Adjusting the bar if need be, making sure that the shoulders are comfortable. And then if you like, you can try extending both legs at the same time. You might need to take the legs to a slightly higher angle in order to keep the lower back pressing into the floor. If this exercise isn't working for you, just feel free to go one leg at a time just as we did before. Exhale to extend and inhale to draw the knees back over the hips. Trying to keep the rest of the body as still as possible and moving with the rhythm of your own breath. So just going one more time here. And then once you've finished your last one, set your feet back down onto the floor, walking your heels in towards your hips, making sure your lower back is pressing into the floor. You can either keep your arms extended behind you or bring them further forward or even set the elbows down onto the floor. So from here, starting with the tailbone, breathe in. And as you breathe out, tilt the pelvis backwards and lift the hips up, peeling the back off of the floor. Breathe in when you get to your maximum height and then breathe out, placing the back onto the floor one vertebrae at a time. Try to keep your knees still, breathe in and breathe out, peel the back, the lower, the middle and the upper back off of the floor and lowering down sequentially. 
So really try and think about articulating the spine here, placing the vertebrae back onto the floor in their correct order and moving nice and smoothly with the breath. Pressing all 10 toes into the floor here. Imagine you've got a glass of water on each knee and don't forget to adjust the position of your arms if this isn't comfortable for your shoulders. Keep squeezing the glutes as you lift the hips, breathe in and breathe out lowering down with control. Just going one more time here. And then this time, as you lower, bring the arms forward, add some resistance onto the bar. So just twisting the bar towards you, creating a few loops, lift your feet off, and then we'll use that resistance to bring ourselves up to seated. Remove the foot straps and set the bar to one side and then extend the legs out long. You can keep them slightly bent if need be. Breathe in, lifting the arms and breathe out, reach forward to wherever you can. So placing the hands either to the side of your legs, maybe onto your lap or your calves or your feet. Breathe in, press the shoulders down, lift the chest and then breathe out, allow the back to round, allow the head to relax. Taking deep breaths here, relaxing the muscles in the jaw the neck and the shoulders. Rolling yourself gently up to a seated position now and then drawing your left knee into the chest and just let the knee fall out to the side, sole of the foot pressing against the inner thigh. Breathe in and as you breathe out, reaching forward again to that extended leg, relax the head down. Feel free to keep the knee bent if that feels like too much of a pull on the hamstring. Roll yourself back up to seated and then place the left foot on the outside of the right knee. Using your right elbow, draw the left knee into your chest. Place the left fingertips behind you on the floor and twist to look over the left shoulder. Keep the shoulders down and the back nice and straight. Gently coming back to centre, extend the left leg and then drawing the right knee in, sole of the foot towards the inner thigh, knee open to the side, lifting up and exhale, reach forward to wherever you can. Once you get there, relax the shoulders and the head and the jaw. Gently rolling yourself back up to seated. Take the right foot to the outside of the left knee. Left elbow hooks around the right knee, drawing it in towards the chest. And then press your right fingertips lightly into the floor behind you. Shoulders down, sitting up as tall as you can through the spine. So from here, we're just going to find a comfortable seated position. So perhaps with your legs crossed, maybe your legs extended out in front or on your knees, whichever's the most comfortable. Nice straight back and then taking one hand to the floor beside you, stretch the other arm over and inhale, come back up to seated. Going to the other side, stretching over, trying to keep both sit bones on the floor and the shoulders away from your ears. Exhale, stretch over and inhale back to center. So just allowing your head to gently move with this, maybe looking down towards your hands if that's more comfortable. Exhale, stretch over 
and inhale back up to a nice tall seated position. From here, placing the hands onto the floor in front of you and just walk the hands out as far as you can, extending the arms and relax the head down. Walking your hands over towards the left, placing your right hand on top of the left and relax the head. Walking your hands over towards the right now. Placing the left hand on top of the right hand, relax your shoulders down away from your ears. Walking the hands back to centre now, pull the belly button through to the spine and then gently walk your hands back in towards you, rolling up to a tall seated position. Take a big breath in, lifting the arms up, look towards the hands and exhale, open the arms, bringing them down. Inhale, lift the arms, look towards the hands and exhale, pressing the air down. Inhale, lift and exhale, lower. One last time, inhale, lifting the arms, this time bringing the hands together in a prayer position and lowering down. Thank you so much for joining me for this workout. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're interested in more of my classes, please don't hesitate to follow me on Instagram.